Hi everyone, it's Lucy from My Crazy Craft Life and I'm here today with the revisiting series for Scrapping for Less. I'm going to be revisiting the Flavor of the Month card kit from January of 2019 and the theme was Perk Up and Start the New Year. So this kit had a lot of cute things that were part of it. I'm not a big coffee drinker and even though this is a big coffee themed kit, um, I thought a lot of the stuff I could be could be used in other things and like I like hot chocolate, so I can use it as hot chocolate. Um, but, you know, you get the donut stamp with Newton's Nook and the hummingbird stamp, and that could just be a teacup. So there's definitely a lot of stuff that this could be worked with, a lot of different things. Um, I do end up using collection number one's paper and ephemera that was part of it. And with that, you received Coffee Time Paper by Scrapping for Less, Humming Along Stamp Set by Scrapping for Less, Sheer Ribbon, Ephemeral from Scrapping for Less, and Sequin Mix by Scrapping for Less. The stamp set that I used was Newton's Donut Stamp Set by Newton's Nook Designs, and that was part of Collection 2. You also received Love Coffee and Donuts Paper by Scrapping for Less, Wood Icons by Prima Marketing, Donut Character Stickers by Sticko, and a Sequin Mix from Scrapping for Less. As you can see, I stamped the image with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and then I colored it with some Copic markers. Now, this is certainly by no means a fancy coloring job. I just used some browns for the donut. I left the icing white. I just took a few bright colors for the sprinkles. And for Newton, I just took a couple browns, lighter browns, and... Orange. I like to do the background in orange. I think it gives it a cool looking color when you first color it with a very light orange and then kind of put the browns over it. It kind of gives a little bit of layering effect with the coloring. And then just um, pink. I used a very light pink for his paws and his ears and his nose. I do cut this out. I fussy cut it. And I did use my craft knife to cut out that little area between the head and the donut just to kind of clean that up. And then after I was done coloring, I do take a black marker and go around all of the edges and color it black just to kind of like clean it up and finish it off. I am making an A2 size card, so the card is four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And I cut a back panel down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. I cut a strip from the papers, just a half an inch strip that is five and a quarter inches. I use a uh, oval die from Spellbinders, um, one, some nesting dies that I actually picked up at Hobby Lobby for like three bucks for the entire set. I think there's five dies to the whole set of nesting dies that are oval. And like I said, I think they were like three or four bucks. Cannot beat that deal. Um, but then I used some fun foam to pop one of those ovals up after I stick the image on there. And then I used some fun foam for two of the pieces of ephemera that I picked from there that were two coffee mugs or um, hot chocolate mugs. And then the sentiment I used was a piece of ephemera that just says coffee and friends, the perfect blend. So this was a nice quick card to make, but I think it's lots of fun. And like I said, even though I'm not a big coffee drinker, I know a lot of my friends are, so they will enjoy these coffee cards as I make them. Now, collection number three included coffee and friends, paper by Scrapping for Less, Coffee Break Marcy stamp set by La La Land, which I know we still have that stamp at the store, so if you want to grab that stamp, she's pretty cute. Coffee Time stickers by Sticko. Coffee beans, they were actual coffee beans that were part of the kit, and I... I really thought that was crazy when I first opened it, but then I ended up using it on a card and I sent it to one of my friends who is a huge coffee drinker and she thought it was the greatest thing ever because as soon as she opened it, it smelled like coffee because of the coffee beans and she thought it was great. So kudos to Teresa and them over at Scrapping for Less for coming up with that idea because I certainly would have never thought to use actual coffee beans, but it was a big hit with my friend who I sent it to. So Sequin Mix by Scrapping for Less was also part of collection number three. 
Collection 4 was Coffee Paper by Echo Park, Brew It Anna Stamp Set by The Greeting Farm, Cut Up Hearts by Echo Park, Enamel Dots by Echo Park, and a sequin mix from Scrapping for Less. The card stock that we received as part of this kit was My Favorite Things, and it was Whipped Cream, Snow Cone, Cotton Candy, Jelly Bean Green, Lemon Drop, and Craft. You also received two sheets of Nina 110 Pound, Classic Crest Smooth Solar White, and four A2 sized white envelopes. Now, I did get the Banana Split Level, and the Banana Split Level included Donut Worry Embossing Folder by Doris, Cat's Eye Ink Pad from Chestnut Roan by Colorbox, Melting Snowman Stamp Set from Your Next Stamp, and that was exclusively made for Scrapping for Less, and then a Coffee Cup Wood Embellishment, which was that large coffee cup that you saw me looking at in the beginning. And that was pretty much it. So here I am finishing up the card. I don't know if I had mentioned it, but I did pull in C1 for the Copic coloring just to shadow a little bit underneath where the donut is on Newton's belly. And that was pretty much it for the card. So stick around. You can check out some other videos that are on here. I hope you're enjoying this series. And I hope everybody has a great day and take care. Thanks for joining me.